fact that things really did unite and come together to support me was an unbelievable feeling. And if, if we can get that support behind everything that happens from the leaves, whether it's sports, whether it's, it's music, you know, whatever it is, if we get that support, Belize is going to be unstoppable. Around midday today, Miss Belize Universe, Rebecca Rath, in the company of her parents, arrived in the Jewel on a Delta flight to a welcoming party. After clearing with Immigration and Customs, Bex was escorted to the VIP hall of the Philip Goldson International Airport before being brought into the city for a motorcade through principal streets leading to the Bliss Center for the Performing Arts for a one-on-one -on -one with the media and the public. Thankfully, I had a very, very good support team that went all out along with me, or we went all out together, and it consisted of going to the gym twice a day, not eating anything fried, so no fried jack, <laughs> which was the hardest, it was very, very hard. <laughs> um, watching the news and, and educating yourself about issues happening in the world because you know you never you never know what they could ask you on stage. The competition really started as soon as I got off that plane. I saw other contestants and they were in interviews and I, I was a little bit nervous of course because I didn't know what to expect but game face on almost instantly. I said I'm not gonna let these girls show me up at all. So, um, you just put on your game face and you go in there and even if you don't know what you're doing you just kinda act like you do and that confidence that, that shows that it, it, it takes over. Wrath came to tears as several persons took to the podium to share their gratitude to the beauty ambassador for putting Belize back on the international stage of pageantry. Among those persons was David Matos, the designer, who along with Roberto Passos, constructed Rebecca's national costume used in the preliminaries of the Miss Universe pageant. She gave light to the costume. She gave back Belize something we've not seen for years, which is putting back us back on the map. You know, the international stage, she, she did well. Everywhere you saw it was a Rebecca clip going on, you know, during the pageant, before the pageant. In all the interviews, Rebecca was there. So, you know what, she gave hope back to pageantry and Belize. And we want to thank you for doing such a great job. You know, um, you know, as a designer, we felt proud seeing our piece of work showcased by you. And I think that Rebecca has done an absolutely splendid job in laying a foundation, which I hope that, as Belize, we can only build on. And therefore, I want to thank her for being on behalf of my organization, for being a first class, when I mean first class, first class ambassador. According to Rath, her first experience in pageantry was her best memory in life. But this is the final pageant she'll be competing in. And how will Rat complete her tenure as Miss Belize? Since Miss Belize, I've been 100% focusing on Miss Universe, so I need to kind of get my life back in order a little bit. I need to get to work. <laughs> but I have already been getting requests to continue doing visits to schools, and people want me to come and play volleyball at their school. So I'm, I'm going to continue being myself and just go and talk to these kids. You know, let them know that. I'm just a regular person, I'm Miss Belize, yeah, but that, that's just a name. You know, you, you can do anything that you want to do, you just, you just have to work hard at it and you form a support team. The question that was given to the final three at the Miss Universe was to name something that they failed at in life and what they learned. In making reference to an experience as a teenage national athlete, Rath gave an emotional response and advice to the public. Sometimes you work for something and... I don't know why I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> Sometimes you work for something and it doesn't always work out the way you want to, or you don't always have the right people behind you, but it doesn't matter because when I lose, no matter, no matter what's the outcome, you take something away from it, whether it's experiences, whether it's friends, whether it's to work harder, what to do next time, you, you, you learn something from it. So what it taught me was that even though you work hard, it doesn't work out, that doesn't mean that it, it, that's the end. You know, keep trying or do something else, you know, just don't give up. So, yeah. <laughs> Dwayne Moody for News 5.